hello and welcome to yet another section with me i go by the name safe fortress and it's a privilege to have you in my channel today i'm going to be talking about the top 10 commands every linux beginner should know starting with the ls command i'm just going to zoom this in for us to be able to see it. now the ls command is used to list all files in the directory now i can see after typing the ls command i was able to see all files located under the directory i can do ls dash l command in order to see additional information of all these files eg date modified the owner of the files the group owner of the files and then the permission each and every one of these files has i can also do ls dash a in order to be able to see hidden files located under this directory now hidden files always have a dot before them the next command in the line which i'm going to clear my screen first is the cd command now the cd command is used to change directory from one directory to another first of all let me do the ls command in order to be able to see all directory located under my own folder now i can see that all directory are colored in blue so i can help i can see the from my own directory to desktop oh my bad desktop and ouch <laughs> text desktop yeah desktop and i can click lx in order to see all files located under desktop i can see the dot dot in order to go one step backward or add a slash and add another dot dot in order to go two step backward or add another slash and add a dot dot in order to go three step backward like that so i'm just going to add two full stops and click enter in order to go one step backward the next command is the touch command which is actually used to create a file in um through the use of the linux command line now we can just do touch in the home directory and we can do vibes dot txt once that is done i can click the ls command and i can see that vibes dot txt is located here i'm just going to clear this in order for us to be able to see it more ls vibes dot txt is located here the next command is the cat command which is used to print out all information located under a file now i can see cat i can use cat and check vibes dot vibes dot txt now we can see that nothing was printed out why because there is nothing located on that there is no um information inside the vibe.txt file now this is a takeaway you can use the echo command now the echo command is not part of this tutorial i love linux then we can i love linux vibes.txt echo okay just gonna, that's a type of the so echo i love linux these two means forward echo i mean the command echo means you should print out i love linux inside vibes.txt once i click that i have successfully imputed i love linux inside vibes.txt it is just like using the manual method creating a file and typing something there saving it then reopening it to see what is inside the file now if i do um, cut vibes.txt I love Linux. Now the cat command is what we have specified based on. So the cat command is used to print out any information located under a file. The next command is nano, which is a command line editor. Now nano is a command line. Let me just clear the screen. It's a command line editor that is used to that it is used to format and edit every file located under our linux directory using using nano now i can do um i can add additional information inside this i can see i love debian also i love debian and then i love mac also now i just do ctrl x save modify but uh, yes and click enter now i can just do cut vibes vibes.cs and i can see all what i wrote inside this folder i'm just going to clear this and the next command in line is the mv command which means move now the mv command is the short command for move so we can literally click we can actually do ls in order to view the file we want to move then we could do mv vibes.txt to 
this our downloads folder or well, let's move it to the documents folder then we need to get the um we need to get the whole part for the document folder linux is case sensitive so we have to copy this paste this in and click enter once that is done we can cd to our document we can cd to the document folder after cd we can click ls and we can see vibes .tsc is located here we can move vibes .tsc back to our own folder the same way we did this all we just need to do is do mv vibes.txt move this guy and click home permission okay i guess we need advanced privileges for that now once we click ls and we see the do one step back and we click ls we should be able to see vibes.txt right here oops my bad okay so the home folder i like i said linux is skin sensitive we made a mistake and it was the file was actually deleted so um i'm just going to create another file the next in line is the um uh, okay i'm not done with the mv command because there are additional things that the mv command the mv command cannot only move files it can also rename files okay let's say i have my work notes.txt here i can actually do mv work notes click on tab dot txt and change it to file dot txt once this is done if i click ls i will not see workload dot txt he said i'll see file dot txt now we can see that that's good and everything in work notes dot txt will automatically be moved to file dot txt our next command here is mkdir which is the short form for make directory now make directory is also like the touch command now the difference is that the touch command actually allows you to create the file a txt file to be specific and the mk directory allows you to create a directory mkdir like i said mkdir then followed by the directory name let me say um sec for trace once this is done i can click ls and i will see self fortress created right here i can cd to self fortress and manipulate the folder however i like the next command here is the locate command now the locate command is a very powerful command for linux beginners once i type in the locate command i can even look at rocky.tsc from user share word list from anywhere you can use the locate um, command in any folder that you are currently in now the locate command is a very powerful command like i said now we can also use the file command there is a file command basically it's just a file command so the file command is used to check what a type of file is i eg i can click ls to see type of i can see document or download all i just need to do is to do file document and you can see that document is a directory i can click file precious dot g n map and i can see that that is an issue test i can click file oh i got that wrong file soccer dot xml and we can see that that is the xml 1.0 document issue text with very long lines 385 now the file command basically print out edin or um extra information that some files eg steganography now it is not that powerful so i guess if there is an embedded word in a picture or something like that it won't actually print out the embedded words but it will for sure tell you that there is a um hg text file in that image now the last command here is the man command now the man command is a very powerful command also because it actually is like a controller for all other command all commands that will have been actually typed as money in order to get extra or additional information for those command we can just click man followed by those command and we can see manual page okay the man man command is just like a manual page and we can continue pressing enter it's like a long listing or um, additional information for all command i can click escape in order okay q i can click q in order to go away from there i can click man file 
and we can see what the file command file test each in the classic file determine file type we can see that we can see we can see we can do man cuts and we can see additional concatenate files and print on the standard output we can see that also we can click the q command we can click man m k d i r and we can see make directories now if this video has um actually given you an insight and made you to understand basic commands in linux i hope you like share and subscribe my video thank you for watching it's sec for tracy again and uh and make sure to watch out to click the bell icon in order for you to get notified for upcoming videos thank you